Hey everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. I had a couple requests since the last video I posted a couple days ago as far as what you want to see. Um, so my girl Angie, shout out to Angie if you're watching, she had requested um, a lower body workout with no equipment. So that's what we'll be doing today. And I just want to throw it out there before the yoga police come after me, before the fitness police come after me. I know this is a yoga channel. Um, my background is yoga, but I do teach group fitness classes as well as TRX classes, things along that nature. So let's get started. So come on, stand all the way up. We're going to start with our left leg as our base. Right foot is going to do all of the moving. And we're just going to take a step back lunge for 45 seconds. So both knees come to 90 degrees. One thing we're watching for here is that that left knee is not passing the toe. And now we're going to take it up a notch coming into a balance. So for 45 seconds, we're going to step the right foot back and then take the right knee in towards the chest for a high knee. We're actively squeezing the left glute as we lift the right knee up nice and high. And now taking this into a curtsy lunge. So that right leg's going to come behind us. I'll stand this way so it makes a little more sense as we lunge down. 45 seconds here. All right, real simple switch. We're gonna get the other side. So same thing, right foot's gonna be our base. Just a step back lunge. Both feet meet together. Both knees go to 90 degrees or roughly 90 degrees. And again, we're watching to make sure the right knee doesn't pass the right toes. Okay, go ahead and lift that left knee up in towards the chest, making this a little bit more challenging, adding that balance component in. Right, and now taking this into your curtsy lunge. So again, right leg is the base, left leg's gonna come back, 
and behind. All right, go ahead and take the feet a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Toes slightly out, heels slightly in. We're just gonna squat it out. So again, bending the knees, making sure knees don't pass the toes, squeeze the glutes together at the top. And now coming into that squat, we're going to stay low. So squat down, and then we're just going to go side to side, the legs back and forth, staying as low as you can here. Last five. All right, come all the way up. So we're gonna take a curtsy lunge to a squat, alternating the legs, step back with the left leg, then out, squat, and then you'll take that curtsy lunge with the right leg. So it's just an alternating curtsy lunge to squat. Go as slow as you need to here, there's no need to rush. All right, and now coming into a little inner thigh work. So take the feet out really, really wide, even wider than you think you need to. Turn the toes all the way out, or as much as they'll go, heels in, and we're gonna take a sumo squat. So the legs will come down to about a 90 degree angle. Again, really squeezing the glutes together at the top here. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Right, so next time you come down, I want you to stay down and we're just gonna take little pulses, 45 seconds here. Keep breathing, most important part. Woo, all right, we are down to 25 seconds. Thought it would be more than that. Last 10. And come all 
the way up. All right. Coming into an alternating step back lunge. 45 seconds. Right foot back. And then left foot back. This is the last thing we're doing up here as we stand. And then we'll come down to our mats after this. All right, good work, everybody. So go ahead and come down to your mat, or if you don't have a mat, the floor will work just fine. We're gonna come on to, let's start on our right side. So we're in down, right forearm down. And we're just gonna lift that left leg all the way up. And then only bring it about halfway down. So there's about six inches in between the left and the right leg. And if you do have resistance bands, this is a really nice one to put resistance bands um, or put the legs through the resistance bands. You want to add a little more challenge. If not, you'll start to realize how heavy your own legs are in just a moment. Ten seconds left. Four, three, two, one. So now we're gonna go over the rainbow. That left foot is gonna make a big loop. And so again, part of the challenge is to not let the left leg ever hit the ground. So just making these little semicircles over the right leg. Last 10. Four, three, two, one. All right, so now we're gonna take that left leg and bring it in and out. 45 seconds here. Last 20, almost there, and then we're going to get the other side. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, so go ahead and come on to the left side. Right leg's going to do all the work. And again, we'll just start with those leg lifts. So 45 seconds on the clock, starting now. Right leg lifts. And again, we're just hovering it on top of the left leg. So that's really part of the challenge. Never let the right foot touch the left. Just 10 seconds left here, and then we'll take this into our over the rainbows. Four, three, two, and one. So again, that right foot is going these little semicircles over the left leg, never touching the ground. And by now, you've probably already identified which side of the body tends to be a little stronger. We all carry these imbalances, especially in the legs. 
So these isolation exercises really work to sort of get rid of those imbalances. Fifteen seconds left, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Right away, we're going to take this in and out. Last 45 seconds here. Final 10. Three, two, and one. All right. So just two more exercise, one thing for each side. So we're gonna come into a table and I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. We'll start with our right leg bend, or right knee still down on the earth. And then our left leg is gonna come up and back. Now if you want a little bit more here, you'll come to a high plank and you'll lift that left leg up and down. And if you want even more, again, you'll never let the left leg touch the mat. So we'll begin 45 seconds on the clock here. Three, two, one. Real simple switch. We'll begin starting now. Right leg is all the movement. Left knee, left shin stays grounded. go ahead and rest. All right, so coming on to our backs now. Lie all the way down. Cross the right leg over the left, making a figure four. And then we're going to press into the left heel to lift the hips and squeeze the left glute, the left hamstring on that side before lowering back down. We've got 45 seconds here. If you want even more, you'll lift the right leg directly up. Otherwise, keep that figure four. And go ahead and switch. Other side, the left leg crosses over the right, or you're extending the left leg straight up. 45 seconds. Our final 45 seconds here. Almost there.
and that's a wrap. So thank you all so much. Um, if you enjoyed these videos, feel free to like it or comment, share with a friend. And if you feel the need to support um, fitness instructors or yoga teachers, whatever, who are out of work right now, such as myself, um, during our quarantine for the coronavirus, please consider just um, Venmoing or PayPal a donation of even one dollar. I know the last video I think we had over a hundred views. So if everybody had just donated one dollar, it would help those of us who are in, you know, a situation such as myself to get through this hard time with a little more peace of mind. Um, that being said, I'm going to continue to post these videos. It helps get me, um, you know, out of my room and outside into the beautiful sun. And I've really enjoyed making them. So I hope you all enjoy watching them. I hope you find them useful. I hope they help you during this time. Um, but yeah, thank you again. Happy quarantine.